Hi, it's Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I have a devotion for you today. I'm reading out of Luke chapter 2, verse 4. We're in the story leading up and bringing us to the birth of our Savior. And it says in verse 4, it says, And Joseph also went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth to Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because it was the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary's betrothed who was with child. And that while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, laid him in a manger, and then, because there was no room at the end. Luke knew we would say, ah, uh, wait, manger. We're not, you know, we, we've known how to build cradles. Uh, Joseph being being the upright man that he has been described of in the Gospels, you know he would have and made provision for where to lay his child. Uh, Mary also, any mother, so, you know, go, rushes about saying, where, what, how, let's fix up the nursery. It's the nesting instinct that's so talked about. But as it happened, tax act, um, everybody had to travel. He took Mary, Mary with him, so she was born providentially in Bethlehem, and there was no room for them in the inn. Now, we could, shouldn't maybe make the innkeepers into bad people, um, perhaps they hardly heard. In fact, they may have, out of mercy, given them the, the cave-like stable that we think this occurred, this this birth occurred in. Um, but also, it's, you can ask, you know, would, was she refused entry, Mary? Were they, Joseph and Mary, refused entry because they saw she was carrying him? It's a line from a song from, from some friends of mine. Um, they refused a room because they saw she was carrying him. You know, if you're carrying Christ in the world, you may be refused place. You may be refused a hearing. You may be refused some of your rights. Uh, but Jesus shows us, and the Lord has showed us, the scriptures have showed us, this is how uh, God has set about. By not claiming priority, but showing servant, servanthood. By not claiming the glory, but showing humility by not pressing down upon the neck of his enemies, but showing forbearance and patience. That also should be our example for this time. Today, you have a chance to go forth as God did, humble, not so worried about your rights, but able to say, well, well, how can I bless another in this situation? That'd be a good start to carrying the image of Christ in the world. And he does. the world does need us to carry him into the world. So you be blessed today.